Iowa trying for its first 7-0 start since 2009 when it went to the Orange Bowl, won 11 games that year. They're in Evanston to face the Northwestern Wildcats with Brian Greasy, Tom Lugan, Bill on Dave Pash. Look at Iowa, everybody's standing up, moving around on that D-line. Third down and long. Thorson throws, and it's intercepted at the 25-yard line. Desmond King, his sixth pick already this season. Marshall King on for a field goal attempt, 36 yards. He is 8 of 9 in the season. Nice snap. But the kick is good. So Iowa capitalizes on the interception by Northwestern. 3-0 early on, Hawkeyes. First down at the Iowa 30-yard line, leading 3-0 here late in the first quarter. They're asking him to do a lot at the line of scrimmage, checking both in the run and pass game. Going to hand it off to Kanzari. Kanzari gets about three yards. No, one of the things in recruiting that you often find if you're really doing your homework is you find those high upside, high ceiling guys as we've got an injury right now. Dave, from my vantage point on the field here, I can't get a number. I'll get this back to you. It's Kanzari, uh, Lutz. Okay. So he is out uh, or banged up here. And, again, we've seen a couple other guys in, Tom. We've seen Wadley in the game. We've seen Mitchell in. LaShawn Daniels, who was their starter at the beginning of the year, he injured his ankle, did not play against Illinois. But Iowa is different from what we see in most college football teams now. Kirk Ferentz has been there for 17 years. He's done it the same way. Came from the NFL. You talked about his connection with Bill Belichick working together in Cleveland. They're going to be physical at the point of attack. Uh, they're going to run the ball, play good defense, and win close games. And when they've had great seasons, like the Orange Bowl year 2009, that's what they were. Great throw that time by Bether to Vandenberg in the Northwestern Territory at the 37. Well, the first quarter went kind of like we thought. Low scoring, a lot of run plays, a lot of punting, 3 nothing Iowa. And the Hawkeyes are on the move, but they maybe lost their tailback. Jordan Canzari injured towards the end of the first quarter after carrying the ball 43 times last week. So Akram Wadley and Derek Mitchell will now split reps. And this is Wadley on second down and nine. And he's got the corner. Nobody there for Northwestern. Wadley will take it in. Touchdown, Iowa. A 35-yard run, and what happened on defense there for the Wildcats? And what you see out of Wadley, a little bit different from LaShawn Daniels, is that speed. An extra point, I think, missed by Kane. He's missed three now. Hard to tell if that one was blocked. I mean, it came off his foot awkwardly. Maybe it was a bad hold. I think he was a little bit short, but again, Northwestern's defense put in another difficult position. Quick throw to Vandenberg, got a block out there, stayed in bounds. Finally tackled at the 22-yard line, a 14-yard pickup by Vandenberg. About that, Stanford right now is playing as well offensively as anybody in the country. Wadley breaks tackles, inside the five, steps out, but it'll be first and goal for the Hawkeyes. And they got Adam Cox in it, full back, first and goal from the four. Wadley. Another broken tackle and another Wadley touchdown. Thorson in trouble. Grabbed and thrown down to the 39. Josie Jewell got a hold of the quarterback and would not let go. Third down and goal. The pitch to Jackson. Looking for a cutback lane. It's not there. Brought down by Jewell for a loss. And Northwestern will attempt a field goal. The confidence restored, if not all the way, most of the way. He's in trouble in the backfield, though. And he sacked Jaleel Johnson. Another in a long line of terrific defensive tackles that have played here at Iowa. Two seconds remaining. 34-yard try. And the kick is no good. He missed it wide to the left. Four points that I was left on the board. A missed extra point and now a short field goal. Akram Wadley gets the call on first down. In for the injured Jordan Kanzari. 
And he's close to 100 yards on the day. Came in with 35 yards on the season. So first and goal. Adam Cox, the backup fullback, is in. The run behind him. Wadley is in. Touchdown, Iowa. That's the third today for Akram Wadley. This guy had eight carries on the season coming in. He's got three touchdowns this afternoon. Plus, had five straight losing seasons, too. Joe Madden takes over. They win 97 games. Now the ball's on the ground. A mishandle of the exchange, and Iowa recovers. Thorson and Jackson weren't on the same page. And Jaleel Johnson with a fumble recovery. Definitely stepped out, as you saw. First and goal. Here's Wadley looking for a sport. Touchdown. He's in. Akram Wadley makes it 29-10, Iowa. Remember, Iowa playing without Drew Ott, their best pass rusher, as there's a huge hit on the quarterback. The ball is out. It's recovered by Iowa. Josie Jewell absolutely torched Clayton Thorson. Nathan Budgeta was the first to pounce on the football for the Hawkeyes. They're 13 minutes away from improving to 7-0 for the first time since 2009 when they won their first nine games. Bethard trying to dump it off. He was talking to Mitchell. Mitchell catches it and runs inside the 20. All the way down to the 11-yard line. A missed 34-yard field goal and a missed extra point. This is a 22-yard attempt. He makes this one to make it 33-10, Hawkeyes. Another run play, and a lot of running room again for Wadley. Can he get touchdown number five? Dropped at the 37-yard line, but the offensive line for Iowa just humiliating uh, Northwestern right now. He was doubled over, 193 yards. He had 35 yards on the season. Big running lane for Mitchell. Inside the 15, down to the 13-yard line. One-two punch in their third and fourth back. And they're going to get Daniels back for their next game. Here's Mitchell. Spins out of a tackle and is in for the Iowa touchdown. Perry Mitchell, ball carrier. This will be two straight losses for the Wildcats. Iowa will go to 7-0 for the first time since 2009 when the Hawkeyes started 9-0 and ended up winning 11 games, including the Orange Bowl. It was a six-point game at halftime, but Iowa outscores Northwestern 24-0 in the second half. 40-10 is the final score. Well, say what you want about the schedule, but it's time to start talking about the Iowa Hawkeyes. When you come into a game like this and, and you're thinking that Kanziri is going to be the guy with the majority of the carries, how do you mentally prepare and then handle the, the opportunity? Well, I already know I'm right behind him. I know Jordan Kanziri is going to get off, as he always do, and I just got to be able to be right behind him, step in and pick up it where he left off at. Akram Wadley, what can you say about him and the performance he had today? Well, he held on to the ball, so that was really a big step for us, and uh, he's, a, he's a talented guy. Uh, we've been hoping he'd, uh, you know, keep maturing a little bit. Today we really needed him, and he came through big. What can you tell us about Kanziri's injury? I, I think, uh, I don't know if they x-rayed or whatever, they are concerned about a fracture initially. That's been ruled out, so this is a great time for a bye. And exactly, and then how about CJ? We saw him limping and coming up a little gimp. Same thing. I, we, we, our whole team needs rest right now. We'll give them to him. I, I can guarantee that. Congratulations Thank on the you. win, Coach. Thanks, we'll Thanks, send Coach. it back to the studio in Chicago.